Hey guys, it's Jules. I wanted to um, share a little bit more detail. I get well, I don't know if it's more detail, but I wanted to share another beautiful wild orchids craft haul. And I didn't get a whole lot of stuff, but I was so impressed with the way they looked. And they do look like a, a lot like some of the other ones that you guys see, like the iron roses and maybe some primas and stuff. I tend to uh, to um, gravitate towards more of the cream ivories and whites and stuff because I like to alter it and give color myself um, should have pulled these out but let me show you This is one that I did. The very top little rose is one of the um, roses that I got from Wild Orchid a while back. And I really, really, really like it. And these are some Primas, and I like Primas. But, um, you know, sometimes I like to just get some stuff from other places and whatnot. So I like to be able to alter the color myself. And this was stark white when I started. Um, these are a couple of primas here. These are some of the craftables and these are the little rosettes and um, I like to color on myself like I said because I can give it, I can have them all like different kinds of flowers, put them together because um, these are two different different kind of petals here and then the little bud on top. So I like to give it color myself. So that's what I did. hope it's not too bright for you guys. But anyways, let me show you in the order that they came because I know exactly what they're called now. And so when I placed this order, it's a smaller order, but um, I got this cute little note from Siri. And she said, thank you so much for mentioning about us on YouTube. Paul and Jay are re uh, really appreciated it. A little big of flowers as a gift for you. Hope you like them. Siri from Wild Orchid Crafts. And that is... Um, she was mentioning that because she sent me this gorgeous little bag of goodies so I have like four different kinds of flowers in here I got some of these gorgeous brown ones uh, some gar some these are all roses except for these ones are gardenias and they have a lavender two-toned um, lavender and white and then the pink ones down below and the pink ones oh my gosh I have to take it out to show you Let me show them all. They're just so, so pretty. Look at these. Oops. Are they not gorgeous? Love it. So pretty. It's the same kind. And here, the, look at these red ones. Look how so realistic that they look. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. And they sent me these cute little embellishments, these cute little hearts. Perfect for Valentine's or a wedding theme. I, I love these they're just so cute so I'm, I'm excited she sent that and they uh, these are gorgeous these are bigger than these red ones and the brown ones look at how big the, the, the difference is they're large roses i love love these they're absolutely amazing and now there's differences in um this company and like i am roses um look at these gardenias these are gorgeous you can still add color to this too it doesn't have to be just do, I mean they could stay like this if you want but you know they're just I just love these these are like some I think they're the larger larger um, flat gardenias yeah that might be anyways so there's differences I was looking on both sites and um, I noticed that they have a lot of different stuff like wild orchid crafts has they sell some prima they sell lace trims buttons um, rhinestones, flatback pearls, um, a lot of different stuff. Iron Roses, I haven't seen that they have that, but they do sell bigger bulks. Like, I bought this pack of five flowers, and I know Iron Roses sells them in, like, bags of, like, 25 and 50s and whatever else. So, there's some differences in each, and I, I love Iron Roses. I don't have a problem with Iron Roses. The only difference with, that I, the negative part for that is that they ship, um, slower. And, of course, we want everything now, now, now. Everybody wants everything now, now, now. So we live in, like, that kind of a microwave world where we want everything done in 30 seconds. But if you can be patient, um, 
that's fine. It's, you can stay with whomever, but who says you can only buy from one person, you know? So I'm just sharing this with you because I really like them. They're really sweet, great customer service, and they have an array of stuff. So you're not limited to just flowers and stuff. So first one I want to show you is um, I got some little tiny little what they call Aster Daisy stem flowers, and I got a bag of 50, and they look like this. Look at that. And what they are, they're daisies. They're like four or five um, pieces that are together. And let me show you more close up. So this is what they look like. So they have layers and layers of them. Kind of like how we make our little roses. Um, when we put like the rosebuds, there's like four or five that are layered and we just tuck them in and twirl them and twist them and whatever else. So there's like five, five different ones here and they're just put together into one flower so these are called aster paper aster daisy stem flowers they're so cute so cute so those are those and then I got some sunflowers these are amazingly beautiful I really love these and I they have some in yellow with the white center and then they have some white with oh wait a minute is it white center well, they have some yellow ones, and I can't remember the color of the centers. And then they have these white ones with the yellow center, which are the, the standard colors of daisies that I see anyways. But they're beautiful. So they got two packs of five. And so those are called white sunflower daisy stem flowers. And then I got um, two packs of deep ivory mulberry paper flat gardenias, which is one I was just show sharing with you. And <laughs> they're kind of all bulked together, so you can't really tell them separately sorry I, hate, I don't like opening the bags in front of the camera because it's it, it makes a really strong crinkle sound and it hurts my ears so I don't want to do that to you guys okay so this is what they look like by itself the one just one looks like that and they're just the twisty the twisty ones the twisty kind of flowers that we see with the little stamens the little yellow stamens in the center they're beautiful they're so pretty they're so pretty. Then I grabbed um, one pack of 25 Deep Ivory Hybrid Mulberry Paper Tea Roses. And I think these are the ones that I got last time. And I think I got white last time. I'm not rem I can't remember. I have to look in my box. But they have that little snip. They have like the little jaggedy edges on every petal. And... Um, See, I can't remember which one I got last time, but it might be the same ones. I don't know. I have to look back. So they have these, see the little, little snips in the centers? And I don't, that's the only difference that I can tell. And they're not curled, the, the edges of the flowers or the petals are not curled. So they're just flat out. But you can totally curl them. Who says you can't? So yeah, these are what they look like. So pretty. I like them all actually, I really do. And I went ahead, I, did, I don't have gardenias, I mean gardenias, poinsettias. So I went ahead and grabbed some poinsettias and they still have them, they sell them year round. So I grabbed me um, the red and the white, so let me show you that. And they're listed under, these are a pack of 10, large um, white and large deep red mulberry paper flower poinsettias. And this is what they look like pretty big actually I really like this size I think they have some that are smaller um, but I decided to go with this one I wasn't sure it's in like millimeters and I really don't know millimeters but um that's yeah, fine whatever <laughs> so actually it's a it's a pack of 10 I almost thought there was like eight of them but yeah there's 10 of them in here and here's the red ones these are super gorgeous and they're nice and flat so they fit perfectly on like cards and stuff so they're great those are great and then um some i got a pack two packs of 10 cream mulberry paper curly wild roses which they resemble the gardenias to a, an extent where they have the twisty look on it but they're not like ver they're not longer petal they're just the regular round rose petals beautiful ivory color really really pretty so yeah pack of um, 10 two of them that are 10 so nice and then I got some what they called um, uh, trellis trellis roses and these are nice these are so alterable and they're the perfect size for whatever you want to do with them 
um, the prices are not even on here, but you have you can go online and on the on the website it'll, you'll see Waldorf Good Crafts and to this on this part here on this side the top right there'll be um, uh, where you can change the currency and you'll see them in pounds at first but if you click for US dollar I believe it says US dollar then um, wait for it to load and it'll all the prices will go into US dollars so you can really see what the price is instead of doing the converter last time I went to a different tab and opened up a converter um, another site and then I just transferred that number over and to tell me the what the price was but if you do this if you choose the converter on the website then you can see the US dollar amount right then and there you don't have to go and search anywhere else for it so that when I like that I like I didn't know that it had that but it's really cool and this is the big mama that I wanted to show you I'm really excited about this they carry loose hydrangea flowers and if you guys know I mentioned before my Prima haul for the store that Prima was going to be discontinuing the hydrangeas and, um, and a couple of other stuff like the Bermuda Breeze uh, style flowers and probably like four or five different ones that they have out of like the, I don't know, eight E-line ones that they have in white. Well, the Archie Craft sells those, you guys. So I bought two packs. They're coming in a pack of 50 like this. A pack of 50. And... Um, so yeah, they come just like this and I can't remember, they were not too expensive. I, I probably should look at the prices, but if you go to the website and there's a link below the video here, um, these are the exact same, pretty much the same size as, and they're all one size. And I think the Primas had two different sizes in the one package, but these are the perfect size, probably the just averaging, um, between the two sizes that the Prima E-Line uh, flower packs hold um and they i think the prima had like 40 of them in a package well this one has 50 so that's not a it's not bad and i and it was cheap enough for me i just grabbed a couple of them to show you but they do have different colors too like orange and pink and i think they have black if i'm not mistaken and um i noticed that they're thicker the paper um just one this is just one and it feels way thicker than the other ones i think the other ones are just a tiny bit thinner and I think they're, they would be able to hold um, you managing, like me just messing with it and altering it, twisting it, layering them and everything. So they have a nice thickness to it. I really like these. So anyways, yeah, I grabbed some of these. So I'm just letting you guys know the E-Line um, Primas, they're not going to be selling them anymore as far as what they're telling me. Don't take my word for it, but that's what they're telling me. But if you're looking for white hydrangeas, Wild Orchid Crafts has them. And they're in a package of 50, so they hold more than what the Prima was selling in their package. So, and then the shipping for Wall of Crafts really is not that expensive. And, um, yeah, you guys are, gosh, welcome to go and check it out and look for yourself. Open up a couple tabs on your laptop or on your PC and take a peek at both sites for I Am Roses and Walk of Orchid Crafts. And you'll see that there's benefits to both. So, um just whatever you're in the mood for you guys I'm not gonna promote anybody that I, I mean I don't work for them they're not paying me to do the haul or nothing um, I'm just saying uh, people have asked me let me know what the difference is or how you like one versus the other so far I don't have any issues with any of them except that like I said I am roses uh, ships a little bit slower but that's it other than that they're they're great so um, I'm liking Wilder Good Crafts and I think I'll probably stay with them for a while um, who knows we'll see Alright you guys, I'll talk to you later and um, Joe signing out. Bye guys.